be right back. Keep an eye on little Bev. Hold on, where are you going? What, you mean this? I realized I don't need the bartender job to make more money. I'm recycling these beer cans. Where'd you get so many? From the garage. There are a couple cases in the fridge. You poured out my beer! <laughs> hey, if I can't be trusted around alcohol at work, I certainly can't be trusted around it at home. I mean, that's what you were worried about, right? Can you give us a minute? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to work anyway. And we can get you more beer. Mm. You're gonna be okay. Mm. <laughs> so, was pouring out all my beer supposed to make me change my mind? I'm just showing you that alcohol is everywhere. If I want to drink, I can drink. And nothing makes you want to drink more than dealing with kids. Like right now, but unfortunately, I got no beer. <laughs> I'm a grown woman, Dad. You have no right to interfere in my life. Everybody wants me out of their life until they have to move back into my house, which I thank God I have to give you. But this family, we're not blessed with the best of luck, and I'm running out of nuts to save you. Dad, it's OK that you're not going to be able to save us every time. I know that you're anxious that I'm going to drink. And guess what? So am I. That's not making me feel better. Let me finish. I'm working hard to stay sober, but I have to live with the uncertainty. And because you love me, you have to live with it too. See, if I'm worried about it, then I have to try to fix it. It's the one thing I know how to do. Well, you know what? Get retrained for another job. Maybe you could be a bartender. <laughs> Although, with the way you drink, I don't think it's a good idea.